Back to global concerns again, dominating investor sentiment, not a good Friday. James, on a day like this, I'm just glad I'm not a currency trader. At least I can go home and the market doesn't open again until 10 a.m. on Monday for the Aussie market. But what a day on the market. Once again, it all came down to systemic risk and three key events overnight that the markets were watching. One was a report from Reuters saying that the New York Fed and the U.S. Treasury Department were urging both U.S. banks as well as foreign banks to assess counter party risk as well as other types of risk and that that uh, had the market running but we also saw Finland coming out to demand collateral for its part in the European Financial Stability Fund so fears that that could fall apart also are dominating and then of course we heard that the Swiss National Bank had drawn on that swap facility it was um, for liquidity during the global financial crisis 200 million dollars which is the most from that facility uh, since October 2008 and eight so that very much in focus today was always going to be a bad day on the Australian share market but as you can see from the intraday graph behind me it accelerated going into the close and we did finish near the lows of the session US futures down about one percent pointing to another negative session on the US and of course during the US session last night there were fears about that double dip recession or the recession that never ended depending on your view that fairly fed index with a negative 30.7 rating so altogether a pretty bad day on the market and on strong volumes as well. We saw the best volumes for the week so far, 6.3 billion traded today. Comments from, from Morgan Stanley are downgrading uh, the global growth outlook, suggesting the US and the Eurozone on the brink of recession. And, and Mike Smith, the ANZ CEO, pretty much backing up that sentiment, suggesting the world uh, hangs on the edge of a crisis. I think Morgan Stanley has been a little bit late to the party uh, this week coming out with its forecast and uh, we have seen a number of the investment banks in fact pretty much all of them coming out in the last month and downgrading their forecast in terms of the US GDP number especially which is due out next Friday as well as the GDP number the US GDP number for this particular year as well as next year as well so a raft of downgrades flowing through and I guess investors quite nervous going into this US session tonight given the falls not only that we've seen in Australia but all across the region in fact if we have a look across the region one of the worst performing markets today has been the Korean Cosby down by 6.2 percent at the moment and it is fascinating given that the Korean market has banned short selling so there's no short sellers active in the Korean market at the moment and yet it's seeing the heaviest falls in terms of markets around the region and we saw the same type of trend last night where we did see financials being sold off very heavily but those financials in Europe Europe, which at the moment are under a short selling ban some of the worst sold off so Society General down by 12 percent Deutsche Bank down by 7.1 percent overnight so it does look like a lot of fears around counterparty risk systemic risk really driving the market and this is really what's going to dominate uh, the markets tonight Julia Lee QBE firstly our first half results our net profit after tax up 53 percent that looks pretty good but it's when you get to the outlook that you start to be concerned that's certainly what uh, the concern was for QB investors today. Sure. If we have a look at that result, the insurance margin actually saw uh, quite a drop down to 11.2%. And if we have a look at the insurance profit margin, the main reason for that was the cash. Ca uh, the big risks so anything above 2.5 uh, uh, million dollars so if we billion dollars so if we have a look there were a number of big disasters uh, during the year for QB insurance and that managed to set, shave 6.6 percent off their insurance margin of course the full year also being downgraded so QB insurance at one stage during the piece it was down as much as 11 percent but by the end of the session down only around about five percent but still a pretty bad result and the share price reflecting that